Whatever we're going to talk now is just based on uh, how we as videographers and photographers view this phone. So uh, this is our take on it, based on our job and what we do and how this phone can come in handy. So tell me about the specs for this phone. It's pretty straightforward because it's, it, it holds a Snapdragon 845 uh, chipset and uh, it's also got a liquid cooling technology. So basically, that means it's probably meant for gaming. Mm. So if you were to put uh, multiple apps running concurrently, right, mm. it should not heat up the phone. Mm. Uh, apart from this, there's also a large battery capacity of 4,000 milliamps, mm. which should last you from morning until night. Mm. So I've been using this phone for the past um, two weeks mm. uh, since I got it. I've got no issues with the battery because uh, by the time I'm done by the end of the night, by, by 10, 30, 11 or 12, mm. I probably have like about 25 or 33 percent uh, left. Okay. So battery wise, it's really good. Uh, okay. In terms of the camera specs, right, what are we getting in the front and rear camera? Okay, the front camera is a 20 megapixel camera. The rear is uh, basically a dual setup. Uh, the primary lens is 12 megapixels. The secondary lens is the depth of field lens is five megapixels, which is I believe more than good enough to capture your bokeh effects. Mm. So you're telling me some of the photos you take, uh, even with the front camera, is absolutely yeah, good. The, the front camera is really really good because it's pretty much uh, day on when it comes to creating the uh, bokeh effect, which we will show you later. Mm. Um, uh, in terms of there's also a built-in AI engine in the uh, phone so it should be able to recognize what you're shooting uh, as videographers we also use our devices for uh, our phones for different kinds of things usually it's uh, with the Osmo or with the drone uh, I myself I prefer to use the iPad for the drone because it's bigger I can see more things clearer I can even show the client but phone does come in handy for all these kind of things and I know yeah, you've used the uh, iPad iPad Mini before. IPad right? Mini 4. What was the problem you had? With iPad uh, Mini? The iPad Mini 4 was basically, I mean, in terms of the display, the size is really good, it's very really nice. But I'm, I, was, I was actually using a, uh, I think back at that time was a low end specs mm. in terms of its capacity, which is 16 uh, GB. Mm. Uh, the problem that I had with the iPad was each time I fly, uh, the live feed that goes into the uh, iPad. Uh, it builds up onto the cache and each time it builds up right so whenever you go up again on the next flight right it does create a lag which is as a person who flies the drone and don't want to worry about the flown drone uh, flying off you know whatever not right you want to see that you want to get a good constant feed mm. so in that sense um, my iPad mini 4 each time I fly, say for example, five flights, I would have to delete the app, delete the cache, and reinstall again to ensure smooth. Uh, but you're not having this problem with this Poco phone? No. The Poco phone has, uh, like I said, mentioned earlier, has got six gigs of RAM, okay. which is more than enough to handle any lagging issues. Which uh, drone do you use again? Uh, the uh, DJI Spark and the uh, DJI Phantom. Phantom 4 Pro. Okay. So, so you've tested both these drones tested with this phone? Both, uh, with this phone, um, connection, I've got no issues. Yeah. Um, the the other thing, I, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, PPI on this phone, I think is about 540, <laughs> I guess. So the brightness on a bright day, surprisingly, it's viewable. You can actually see it. Mm. Um, no connection issues whatsoever? No connection issues. My feet... Uh, from the drone, uh, the other day I flew the drone out uh, probably like about 2 km, mm. uh, no issues, the, the feed was coming in smoothly and nicely as it should. Mm. Okay. What about the camera here and the video functionality on this phone? Does okay. it shoot 4K? It shoots uh, 4K, I believe 60 frames per second, if I'm not mistaken, I got double check on that. Mm. But on Full HD, 1080p, right, mm. uh, you got an option to shoot at 240 frames per second. Oh, slow mo. Slow mo. Okay. So, I mean, let's put it this way. I think the slow motion is it's technically a fact because at the end of the day, right, uh, you probably use it for maybe once or twice in a month. 
mm. or once or twice in a year. Mm. Then after that, you're going to shoot now uh, probably 30, 30 frames. Mm. Your your basically your standard video that you. So the standard video in 1080 is 30 frames. 30 frames. Oh, okay. No, you only got uh, Ultra HD, uh, which is 4K. Okay. Uh, then you got Full HD, which is 1080p. Then you got HD 720p. Okay. It's not bad. Uh, the, does the 720p? Actually, just 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 to re just to recap that, right? Yeah. Uh, they also give you a uh, video encoder option mm-hmm. of H.264 and H2, sorry, H264 oh. and H265. Oh, the new codec. The new okay. codec as well. So you got two variants of the uh, inc- uh, codec. Okay. Then in terms of the frame rate, right, as I mentioned earlier, mm. uh, you can shoot at 240 uh, frames per second at full HD. Mm. As if I'm not mistaken, let me just check now on the uh, frame rate. No, the frame rate on the 4K is just 30K. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. 30 frames per second. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite blown away by its uh, so-called 20 megapixels uh, camera because uh, the H to H detection for the bokeh effect is just dead on. Uh, I don't know how it does it. It's just amazing because uh, we'll show you a photo later. Uh, this is me cycling and uh, uh, if you look at the closely at the helmet right it's also the cut is right from the helmet to my face to my clothes and then the background is completely blurred out so how much does this phone cost uh, in malaysia i got this from uh, i got this for one two six eight in malaysia okay uh that is this is i would say the uh standard price mm. yeah i believe there's also a kevlar back version I got no idea what's the price like, but it's obviously a bit more expensive. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, considered the low specs of sixty-four gig, six gig uh, RAM uh, for one two six eight, which to me is a sounds bargain. like a bargain. Yeah, because of all the internal specs and everything that comes with it. Now the only the only so far drawback that we have found out about this phone is that. For whatever uh, licensing agreement reasons or so forth, it can't play Netflix in HD. So if you like to watch, if you're buying this phone just for the purpose of watching Netflix, then this phone can't play in HD, but it can play in, I think, 540 uh, you, it's, 540p. It's, it's a very funny issue because um, for web services or... Yeah, with YouTube, it's no yeah, problem. No problem. You can watch uh, in HD. For Netflix or, or Hulu or whatever not, which is technically a very American base. Yeah. Uh, the codec of something like that, right? The DRM, as you say. Yeah. Uh, you, you can only play at 540p. So you can't play HD in uh, poker phone for Netflix and Hulu, but with YouTube and everything else, you can play in HD. Yeah. And uh, I don't think it's a deal breaker because I mean, 540 on this screen doesn't make much of a difference. You still enjoy your show. The app still works. The Netflix apps. Only thing is that it's not HD. And but if you if your mobile device is your one and only device for watching such a thing, then maybe it might mean something to you. But other than that, I don't think it's a it's a deal breaker at all. Your closing words on this phone. For this phone is basically I, I guess uh, you pay what you get for, and I believe you pay a lot less and you get a lot more from this phone. Right. Yep. Thanks for watching. Thank you.